Hi folks, uh, this is uh, Mr. Bullock again. This is uh, uh, part two of section uh, one, two. Uh, I taught at a, a traditional school. I now teach at a block school, so I teach both of these on the same day now. Anyways, uh, this is easy enough. Let's go ahead and get going. I think this is a little easier than yesterday's. So uh, limits are Y value answers, you guys, and limits can occur at undefined values, you know, like when you get an open circle, like when there's a, it gives you zero in the denominator. Uh, limits are found three ways. One way I showed you already graphically with a picture, some kind of graph. Uh, numerically with a table, I showed you that. Haven't shown you this yet though. Uh, uh, using algebra, it's, it's the best way I think, you guys. Well, you'll see in just a minute, you guys. So the limit as x approaches c of f of x equals some number l. l. This means if and only if, if you haven't seen that. If the limit coming from the left, that's what this means, this little minus sign, is equal to the limit coming from the right. It doesn't even have to be defined, or it could be a whole. I showed you an example where um, L was uh, where where um, the numeric answer was different at C, but but coming from the left and coming from the right, they approached the same number. So as long as they approach the same number, that's what your limit is right there. All right, so find each limit. Okay, so we did this one uh, in the last lesson, and it graphed kind of a parabola sort of thing, you guys, but it didn't show you the whole. All right, now this factors, you guys, that top guy factors. This is a, uh, a difference of cubes, and a difference of cubes gives me a binomial times a trinomial. And I taught this in my algebra class, and this is how I teach it in my algebra uh, uh, two class, you guys. As long as you know that that's a cube and that's a cube, it's a bi times a tri. And then I tell them to soap it, which soap means same sign, opposite sign, and always positive, AP. S-O-A-P. So same sign, opposite sign. This one's opposite sign and always positive. This is the same sign as this guy right here. Okay, and then uh, this term is this guy squared. This term is this guy squared. And this term is always the product of these two guys in the middle. All right, so anyways, now those x minus 1s are going to cancel. Remember that from your algebra class, and you're left with x squared plus x plus 1. So I don't have any more uh, issues to worry about, so you can just plug it in right now. Plug in, uh, plug in what you're approaching, x equals 1, into this uh, uh, simplified version right here, and we get 3. Okay, so the answer is 3. All right, so algebra is the best way to do it if you can, you guys. So the limit of that equals uh, 3. All right, so let's, uh, let's try this one here. Okay, this one is... Um, uh, an, uh, an absolute value over itself and so you can plug that in your calculator so I'd plug this in my calculator and uh, use my absolute value f uh, feature that I showed you in the last lesson and you get a graph that kind of looks like uh, this I don't know how to do this uh, well you can do a table of values also you can do, um, approach three from the uh, negative three from the left and negative three from the right and then uh, this I, I can clearly see as I approach negative three from the left it equals negative one when I approach negative 3 from the right, it equals positive 1. And since they are not the same, then the, this limit does not exist. Okay? All right, so uh, this limit right here, okay, this one factors. Factors of positive 2 that add to negative 3 are negative 2 times negative 3. So that baby factors, and then it cancels, and now you can plug in x equals 2. So I get 1, so then the limit of that guy is equal to 1. Okay, easy enough. All right, so greatest integer function. Do you guys remember greatest integer function, you guys? So as I approach 3 from the left and 3 from the right. Okay, so recall the greatest integer is, uh, is, is any number n that's less than or equal to, to x, if x is my uh, greatest integer. So for example, the greatest integer that's less than or equal to 3.2 is 3. The greatest integer that's less than or equal to negative 1.6 is negative 2. And so what I did is I made a table of values just to remind you guys. I taught this in my pre-calculus lesson class, I mean. And I just copied and pasted this uh, section out of there that I, I talked to them. Um, and so I set up this table of values and it built this sort of stepping things. This kind of ring a bell right here. So let's look at this, you guys. When I approach, here's x equals 3. When I approach x equals 3 from the left, y equals 2. When I approach x equals 3 from this side, it jumps up here to y equals 3. So they're not the same value. Therefore, it does not exist, you guys. Okay? All right. And if you're in my uh, calculus class, that would be the homework that I assign you with uh, this lesson.